welcome back to uh, Turning Keys and Building Dreams. I'm Lisa Novotny, your trusted real estate partner with Keller Williams Realty Group. And I have with me Shelby Kranz from Cardinal Financial. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for having me on. So today's topic is credit repair. We felt this is an important topic for renters that are want to go to buying a home to see what cre- how credit scores really can impact and affect the process. So um, I guess the first way to start on this is what is a credit score? The definition is a prediction of your credit behavior. Uh, Shelby, I know that you may have a little more to add to this. It's made up of different components, including payment history, amounts owed, length of credit history, new credit, and credit mix. I did a little research. You know, everybody has a different theory on this, but what's a good credit score? A good score 670 to 739 is good. 740 to 799, very good. And 800 to 850 is excellent. So that brings us into the next topic, which is hard pulls versus soft pulls. Shelby, I'm gonna let you tackle this one. We need to do a hard pull as a mortgage lender to get your loan approved. It will impact your score negatively by five points on average. And once you do one hard pull with a mortgage lender, you have 30 days to do multiple hard pulls with other mortgage lenders. A soft pull does not impact your score, but it also does not approve your loan. Um, But if we're in the midst of a credit repair program, we could do a soft pull just to check on the status of your score. Yes, and I think I've also read somewhere, hard pulls are pulled by financial institutions, right? Soft pulls are more for, come from a company or someone doing background checks or a person. So that was something new that I learned. So why is a credit score important to buying a home? Your credit score determines whether you can be approved for a loan or not, and what type of program you get approved for. Generally speaking, a 600 credit score is an FHA loan and 700 and above is a conventional loan. Um, This proves that you have a good payment history and we as the mortgage institution will get paid back great so um last but not least is really credit repair right so this is a is a big issue right and um there are companies out there that you can pay for it but who wants to pay for another thing what do you suggest As a general rule of thumb, you want to stay under 30% utilization of your maximum credit card amount and then pay it off each month, pay all of your bills on time each month. Credit, we've said it before, it's a bit of a mystery. So if you're interested, we could get you into our credit improvement program where we have a credit simulator where we put in certain situations, whether you pay off certain debts, and we can see what happens to your credit. And then we'll hold you accountable and follow up um, and then hope to improve your credits to get you mortgage ready. All right. Well, good. I think that wraps things up. And um, I appreciate your time again today. This has been fun. Thanks, Lisa. Great topic. Thank you. Have a great day.